Thanks to the intricate wiring between our brains and millions of sensors dotted on and inside our skin, we know exactly where our hand is in space and what it's touching without needing visual confirmation. That's why we can close our eyes and still fist bump the left hand to the right hand without even looking at it. Right now, only humans and animals can do this. Robots, on the other hand, rely on sensors and positional data. But what about when we need robots to gently pick up Baby Yoda that's in the floor of a burning building? Well, a team at Cornell University is building digital nerves that help robots do just that. This is Robots Can Now See. Rather than mimicking the electrical signals in our nervous system, Dr. Rob Shepard and his team turned to light. By embedding optical fibers inside a 3D printed stretchable material, the team engineered an optical lace that can detect changes in pressure less than a fraction of a pound, and with pinpoint accuracy to that half the width of a tiny needle. The invention isn't just artificial skin. Instead, the delicate fibers can be distributed both inside a robot and on its surface, giving it both a sense of tactile touch and most importantly, an idea of its own body position in space. Eventually, engineers hope to use this fleshy, washable material to coat the sharp, cold metal interior of current robots, transforming C-3PO more into Westworld. Now that robots have synthetic skin that reacts to their environment, will they have to worry about shaving their hair? The question brings us to our sponsor for this week, Manscaped. Let's imagine a dude robot, right? He's about to go on a date with another robot, but he's looking like a smelly, hairy beta unit. So he heads to Manscaped. Manscaped's new Lawnmower 2.0 is a cordless electric shaver with patented skin safe technology that protects the robot's skin from accidental nicks. It also has a 60 minute runtime on a single charge compared to the average 15 minutes of most shavers. The best part? It's waterproof, meaning our robot won't ever get electrocuted if he wants to shower in the shave and shave in the shower. Manscaped also offers the Crop Cleanser Hair and Body Wash, as well as the Crop Reviver and Preserver, which keep the nether regions spick and span. Now, the robot feels confident and excited for his date, but what he didn't realize is that we, as the creators of him, artificially put in the need for him to grow hair. He, at his core, is a collection of wires and code and metal and synthetic skin made up of atoms with no real sense of free will aside from the programs we developed into him. Future. Head to manscaped.com disrupt to get their special offer of everything mentioned, plus free boxers, disposable shaving mats, and a travel bag, all for $74.99. Or the lawnmower 2.04. The overarching idea for optical lace is based on the animal kingdom. Through sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch, and other senses, we're able to interpret the outside world. Thanks to our nervous system, we perform these computations subconsciously, allowing us to constantly perceive what's going on around us. Our other perception is called proprioception. Proprioception relies on stretching and other deformations within the muscles and tendons on our skin. Rather than using electrical properties, the team turned to light as their data carrier. Compared to electricity, light carries information faster and with higher data densities. The team decided to mirror the laws of nature in technology. Now let's theorize humans build robots that can feel humans build virtual reality that feels real. Humans send robots to other planets and operate them. Humans operate them to save Baby Yada. Only time will tell if this theory is real. But for now, the construction starts by laying a structure to hold the optical fibers like 3D printed plastic. These threads guide light from point A to point B. When pressed down, the signal distorts slightly. The stronger the pressure, the brighter the output. Mirroring human biology for computer technology. Now, one can see a future where robots are better equipped to care for, say, a larger amount of the sick and elderly. The dark side of this could, of course, be the impending robot takeover, i.e. War. War 
never changes. But hey, let me know what you think down below, and I'll feature a few thoughts in next Friday's Disrupt. Thanks for watching.